You may have heard ravens squawking at each other and wanted them to shut up and stop making such a racket, but it may have actually been a demonstration of their very complicated and intelligence-based social structure. A researcher, Jorg Mas sorry, Jorg Masson, my mistake, and his colleagues at the University of Vienna wanted to discover these what these different calls meant uh, between ravens and their social structure, and it was really interesting how how strayed the, their, their colonies, or not colonies, their, their groups are. It's surprising the amount of information that we've gathered from this one experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we knew that ravens were extremely intelligent, and they had a very strong capacity for things like causality, which we've talked about before, but we didn't know about their social skills. And we realized not only that within groups they have very strict ranking, so for example, males are always above females, mm -hmm. Uh, and then you have more dominant males and more submissive ones. And the way that they uh, create this hierarchy, go ahead. It's really funny because it's it's sort of like, okay, so what, what they'll do two different calls. The dominant one will, uh, the dominant bird will do a dominant call, like saying, yeah, I'm number one. And then the, the submissive birds would have to say, yes, you are. But sometimes that gets turned around when there's challenges in the group. So they would say, no, you are not. You are not all that. I am. And then it will cause some sort of rift and uh, a struggle right. to reclaim or claim that top spot. And that's where you get these intra-group and intergroup confrontations. So the really interesting thing about this experiment are some of the discoveries. So not only do they have this ranking within their groups, they realized that uh, ravens respond with stress to some of these calls. So they isolated the ravens and they played calls of submission uh, and dominance reversal, which is when they say, no, you're not all that, and the beta's <laughs> like, I'm challenging you. And what ended up happening is the responses were of stress, only within their same sex. So guys didn't care if it was a female re dominance reversal. They were just like, I don't care. Um, and females didn't care so much about the males, even though they responded with more stress because there's well, more the in jeopardy for top, them. So exactly. they get more food and they get that higher standing. They have yeah. less resources available, so if they feel they're going to lose it, that's stressful. And then one of the most interesting things is the fact that they were able to recognize these calls mm -hmm. in other groups. So all of a sudden, without even seeing them, just by the calls being emitted, and this is a very monitored experiment, and they were isolated. So these, the, the equivalent is us watching TV and understanding relationships that are representative. Mm -hmm. So we get that as humans. Even monkeys have not been proven to understand these representations, but ravens have. So that, I think, is really the big kind of, you know, interesting point of this experiment and, like, the discoveries. That they can be able to reveal that. And then also it takes intelligence to be able to understand that and maybe to use that uh, understanding of that structure to their advantage. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to pick on this bird because he's lower and I'm going to align myself with this bird because he's higher. And it's a very complicated social <laughs> structure of popular. It's very Mean Girls-esque. I think. Uh, it's, it's just like politics, right? right. <laughs> politics of ravens, just like mean girl ask. <laughs> I'm the top raven. No, you're not. That's just all I imagined when I was thinking about this experiment. <laughs> uh, it was really interesting to know that they actually have that capacity for intelligence. Audience, what do you think of the this social structure in ravens? Uh, and we'd only seen this in humans before. Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.